Hi, my name is Greg Ciola. I am an investigative reporter with the website investigatorsreport.com. Today I'm going to be making this video on iodine deficiency. There's so much to cover here that I'll have to do more videos in the future on a lot of the different topics. But uh, it's in the uh, lead story of our July August 2015 uh, newspaper. Iodine deficiency, a silent and growing epidemic. And uh, let me just point out a couple things here. Uh, according to Dr. David Brownstein, he's pretty much the, the foremost authority on iodine and thyroid issues. He's written a number of different books, has a practice up in Michigan. Uh, according to Dr. Brownstein, <clears throat> a leading expert on iodine, approximately 90% of the U.S. population is iodine deficient. And over 72% are severely deficient. And uh, Dr. Brownstein says, in all my years of practicing medicine, I have yet to see one item provide such miraculous effects on the body as iodine does. There's uh, another story that we have in the issue, uh, was written recently by Dr. Brownstein. Uh, it's the epidemic of breast cancer and thyroid disorders, the common link. Uh, also uh, pointing out nearly one in seven or 14% of US women have breast cancer. Thyroid disorders are the most common endocrine disorder present in the U.S. There are estimates that from 10 to 40 percent of the U.S. adult population suffer from a thyroid disorder. Could there be a link between the 40-year ep epidemic rise of breast cancer and thyroid disorders? According to Dr. Brownstein, the answer is yes. And the link could, not, could explain not only the breast and thyroid connection, but also why we are suffering from an epidemic of glandular uh, illnesses, including cancer of the ovary, uterus, pancreas, and prostate. What is the link? The link is iodine deficiency. Our iodine levels have fallen over 50% during the last 40 years. I, along with my partners, have tested well over 6,000 patients for their iodine levels and have found that over 96% are deficient in iodine. 96% of the people he's tested are deficient. He's also said over 90% of the US population is deficient. So uh, this is something that needs serious attention. Number one, um, why is this happening? What's causing this massive iodine deficiency? Uh, I'll tell you right now, if you look at um, halogens, halogens are made up of fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine and astatine. Um, <clears throat> the big thing with halogens is uh, they're extremely reactive. Um, and because of that, uh, iodine is lower on the, on the totem pole. And so that means that uh, fluorine, chlorine, and bromine, which are heavily used in our water supply, in our food production, and our toothpaste with the fluoride, they're all linked these things are all causing iodine deficiencies, not to mention another huge issue, which is processed foods. All of these chemicals are involved. And so uh, these, these things are vying for the iodine that's in our bodies. It says uh, halogens show trends in chemical bond energy moving from top to bottom from the periodic table with fluorine deviating slightly. It says this means as you go down the periodic table, the reactivity of the element will decrease because of the increasing size of the atoms. Um, so, both chlorine and bromine are used as disinfectants for drinking water, swimming pools, fresh ponds, spas, dishes, and surfaces. They kill bacteria and other potentially harmful microorganisms. Okay, so, uh, fluoride. Let's start with fluoride fast. Okay, fluoride is the negative ion of the element fluorine, which is a halogen. Okay, fluorine is an element, fluoride is an ion or a compound with, which contains the fluoride ion. Okay, how many people are brushing their teeth every day with fluoride toothpaste? Okay, this causes problems because the fluoride is going to be taken up by your body and replace or minimize the importance of iodine in the cells. So instead of having the iodine that you need, the fluoride's gonna knock it out, okay? That's just the toothpaste. Fluoride is also used in our water supplies. Chlorine is used in bleaches, but it's also used in our water supplies. Municipal water uses chlorine. Another problem, bromine. Let's go there. 
Actually, chlorine is also used to whiten flour. How many different processed foods are people eating on the market? Almost all white flour is usually bleached with a highly toxic chlorine bleach. So that's another reason where we're getting all these uh, chlorine problems from. Uh, bromine uh, is required in most nations to be added to bread. Bromine to bread instead of iodine. It helps the yeast rise and has other effects. Bromine is highly toxic for human beings, yet it's added to all the breads. So all your, all your grains and things that can come from uh, things from the, from the flour, which are your pastas and all your different carbohydrate type foods, starchy foods, uh, massive quantities of bromine. Okay, so we're getting fluoride, chlorine, bromine, and every one of these halogens disrupts iodine. Not to mention we're eating devoid processed strip foods that don't have any nutrition left in them, or if the nutrition is there, it's very little. So it's no wonder why this is going on. Here's another story. This just appeared from Natural News recently. Rates of thyroid cancer have tripled since 1975. Public utilities, public water utilities continue to poison us with water fluoridation. As scientists struggle to explain why thyroid cancer rates have more than tripled in the U.S. since the mid-1970s, nobody's addressing the elephant in the room. That is artificial water fluoridation. This is why you need to get on iodine every single day. I don't think there's a person in this country that doesn't need iodine supplementation. Okay? <clears throat> there's a study quoted in this article uh, published in the Journal of Epidemiology and Community Health. It says, uh, showed that fluoridation ingestion is directly associated with rising rates of underactive thyroid or hypothyroidism. This is right in line with what, Broma, with, uh, what Dr. Brownstein's finding. Uh, it says the journal quoted, uh, says it raises questions about the safety of community fluoridation, according to one of the authors. This is, this is nuts. This is, uh, from Dr. Mercola, this is on bromine. Bromides are common endocrine disruptors. It competes for the same receptors that are used in the thyroid gland, among other places, to capture iodine. This will inhibit thyroid hormone production, resulting in a low thyroid state. Iodine is essential for your body and is detected in every organ and tissue. Bromide can be found in several forms. Methyl bromide is a pesticide used mainly on strawberries, found predominantly in California. Brominated vegetable oil is added to citrus drinks to help suspend the flavoring in the liquid. <clears throat> and potassium bromate is a dough conditioner found in commercial bakery products and sunflowers. So, I mean, I could spend a two-hour seminar just talking about the toxicities and the problems. But, uh, you know, scientists want to laugh it off. Doctors want to laugh it off. Oh, your body needs fluoride. It's good for you. No, these are all lies. Uh, our body is being inundated with too many chemicals, especially these toxic halogens of fluorine, chlorine, and bromine. And then we're not getting minerals, and also iodine being another important mineral, we're not getting enough adequate iodine in our body. And then, um, to top it off, we have massive problems with Fukushima um, that they simply don't want to report in the, in the mainstream news. And this is a problem that has not gone away. It's been going on since 2011. And uh, the fact is there's radiation levels of Fukushima being detected all over North America. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's low doses. There is no such safe dose for radiation. It's an invisible killer. And you add on all these other problems with this low level radiation exposure that we're all getting, not only from Fukushima, but also from our own power plants in this country um, here, here's a list from the uh, USNRC that shows you all the different power plants in the United States, okay? And here's a story from 2011, actually, but it was a CBS story. Radioactive leaks found at 75% of U.S. nuke sites. So it's not just the Fukushima. There's low-level radiation that's seeping out from our own plants here in this country. Not to mention, we have a nuclear power plant called the Diablo Canyon Power Plant. The Diablo means devil, okay? Sitting right on the coast, just like a Fukushima time bomb waiting to go off. 
There's the plant sitting on a major fault line that they detected after this plant was built. According to Wikipedia, it says uh, this plant was built less than a mile from the shoreline fault line, which was not known to exist at the time of construction and is located less than three miles from a second fault. So we're only one earthquake away in this country from a disaster far worse. Why do I bring all this up? You need iodine. You need iodine, but you need the right sources of iodine. You need it in a good form that your body's gonna utilize. And that's why we introduced the product called Lugol's Iodine Plus. Uh, we came out with this product just recently. It's featured in our June, July 2015 issue of our newspaper. And um, this is beyond your typical iodorol or iodine supplement. It contains both potassium iodide and iodine, which are the two forms of iodine that the body needs. In addition to that, we've combined it with fulvic acid, thiamine, vitamin C, selenium, and zinc, which are all necessary for proper iodine metabolism. Uh, just to touch base briefly on the fulvic acid, because this is huge, and I don't really know if there's any other uh, iodine supplements out there. If there are, they're very few and far between, and this is what really puts this product over the top. Fulvic acid is needed to uh, pull iodine into the cells, not just iodine, all your other mineral elements. It says uh, the way things are supposed to work in nature, basically, uh, take dead leaves, for example, from the forest, when they fall to the ground and they decompose, um, it's basically called humic acid. And humic acid is uh, a component of humic acid is called fulvic acid. Fulvic acid is necessary to open the cell membranes of the plant so that fulvic acid can enter with all the nutrients it naturally carries. We then eat the plants which contains fulvic and all the nutrients it carries. Fulvic opens our cell membranes and also allows nutrients to enter too. Fulvic is nature's nutrient activation and delivery system to the cell. So this is what makes this product so much better. Uh, so, I mean, there's a lot up there on our website to go to and read as far as iodine deficiency and why you need it. But let me tell you something. If you are drinking city water, brushing your teeth with fluoride toothpaste, eating processed foods, uh, not supplementing your diet with a bunch of minerals, drinking chlorinated water uh, and everything else, uh, I can guarantee you, you're in this 96% that Dr. Brownstein talks about that has iodine deficiencies and you are gonna be set up for disease. So uh, take some action, order this product, learn more information from our website, and we'll be making many more videos in the future on this. Thank you.